Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. I'm going to do a relationship reading or energy reading on Charlie Puth and Selena Gomez. A little bit about myself, if you guys are new to my channel or just, you know, just coming across this video, I'm a clairsentient, clairvoyant, which means that I can pick up energies from other people and I see visions. So uh, it's called Reading People. It's where I shine and I do my best work. And I'm pretty much about 90% accurate when it comes to reading other people's feelings, emotions, vibes. I cannot read minds, but I can pick up energies. So uh, these two were friends and I believe that I feel that Charlie was head over heels with this woman, with Selena, and um, I feel like he would have done anything for her. I don't know, like I looked online just to see a little bit about them, like I feel like they did date, it said very, um, uh, very briefly, but I just feel that she wasn't ready. She wasn't ready and he was ready to give her everything. And I feel like it just kind of went bad. Like, um, I feel like they got to know each other, that they really became close. They really became tight and he wanted more. And he did get more, but it's not what he wanted. Like, I feel like she held back and she was not ready and she was still longing for Justin. So it's like she it's like she tried to get over Justin by dating Charlie. And I really feel that she gave it her all. But ultimately, I feel like Charlie loved her more. And he was passionate about her. It's like he would have done anything for her. Charlie would have done anything for Selena. And um, I think Selena recognizes that. And I feel like she felt bad. She felt bad that she couldn't give him the same thing back. I think she really wanted to give this a good try. And um, it's one of those things where if we can't be together, we can't be friends because he was pretty hurt by this. It's like, damn you, Justin, why do you have to interfere? It's because like, I feel that if it was the timing was different, they would have, they, they would have been together and been a couple. Um, it was just too soon for her or the timing wasn't right. Like, I feel like now if they would have tried, it would have worked, but he's now in a different place and she's in a different place. I don't think these two talk anymore. I feel like it's one of those things where if we can't be friends, I don't want to, I want, I don't want to talk to you. It's too painful for him. It's too painful for Charlie to keep in touch. It's like keeping in touch with a person that you've fallen in love with that doesn't want you. And then you have to watch them date other people. So that is where Charlie is coming from. It's like, it's either we're either we're together as a couple or we can't talk. We can't, it's too, it's too painful for him. He, um, he really, he really liked her a lot. He really loved her. And I don't think he understood, um, I don't think he understood the, the love that she has had for Justin. And it made him angry. It kind of pissed him off. Like, what does Justin have that I don't have? You know, and so it's like, I think even now, um, I think there he's got like a grudge. I don't know if him and Justin talk or if they run in the same circles or anything like that, but it's like, um, uh, I don't think he'd even say hi to him if he had to, because it's almost like you're the one who was the reason why it didn't work out with Selena and I. All right. Um, I feel sorry for him. I kind of feel bad for him because I really do feel that he loves Selena a lot. Like he really, really was head over heels with this woman and it was just bad timing. So let's see what the cards say. All righty. Make sure I have our cards. Okay. All right. That's, uh, the, you know, um, I think he's like, he's angry and he's bitter about it. So I don't think he wants to, he does not want to talk to her. It hurts him too much, I think, to speak to her. 
I don't know anybody out there they can tell me like any of you Selena fans can tell me what's going on between the two of them but I don't feel like there's anything going on what are the energies between Selena and Charlie what are the energies between Selena and Charlie What are the energies between Selena and Charlie? Poor guy, poor little darling. I feel sorry for him. I feel like he was he would have done anything for her. All right. What are the energies between Selena and Charlie? All right, so we have the Four of Pentacles. All right, so the Four of Pentacles is a desire for long-term security and it is a fear of change. So um, he, I feel like he wanted security from her. And so um, you can see this is about, the Four of Pentacles is about this. Um, you can see there's disappointment here and sadness. All right, so he wanted that long-term security with her. Then we have the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is being left out in the cold. It's isolation. It's about worry. So it's like they're left out in the cold, you know, with each other. He's left out in the cold. She's left out in the cold. They're not speaking. We have the hangman. That's not going to change. The hangman talks about just, um, uh, is trying to really get uh, a unique perspective on things. But, um, this is, you can just see this guy's just hanging in suspension. Wherever it was left is where it is. There's no change. We have the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords is that um, a necessary transition. It's moving on. It's taking your problems. You got all the swords. And you're just moving on without the other person. And then we have the Five of Wands. Conflict. Two fives here. Fives talk about conflict. All right, so we have this finance, we've got this um, being left out in the cold, and the Five of Wands is rivalry, challenges, and obstacles. So what was going on here? There was a rivalry. It was Justin. All right, there was challenges and there was obstacles. Okay. Let's just see what he feels for her. He's very, he's deeply hurt by her. And she's not a bad person. She's not. She was honest, but I mean, he, he fell for her that hard that he's very deeply hurt. I don't know if he's seeing anybody right now or not. What does Charlie feel for Selena? What does Charlie feel for Selena? What does Charlie feel for Selena? Okay, what does Charlie feel for Selena? We have the Ten of Wands. And this talks about stress, exhaustion, too many responsibilities. He's carrying a burden. All right, that pain, the heartbreak, I feel like he still carries it. All right, we have the Ace of Swords. He got some clarity on this. Okay, um, Ace of Swords talks about uh, decisions, insight, clarity, he got he he got what he needed from this. And then we have the three of wands, which I think I this is about still manifesting. I think that he would be he would be open to it. If she came back right now, I, I that's if he's single. If he's single, he would be um more than happy to take her back. He'd be open to that because this is about that manifesting. You know, there's a distance here between them. But I think he still thinks about her and would like her back in his life in, in that aspect, as in um, love relations. 
Okay, let's just see future messages. Future messages for Charlie and Selena. 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 Waiting for that card to fall out. Future messages. Okay, future messages for Charlie and Selena. Well, we have the lovers. All right, there is, I still feel that there's that connection there between the two of them. More on him, but lovers is also choices. So it's about making a choice for something to happen or not happen. But there's that, um, the lovers, I'm just going to go to the book and get a better meaning here for you guys. So this is about love, attraction. He's still a, he's still in the future going to be attracted to her and love her. and um, But this is also about a decision to commit to a relationship or new venture with an open heart. So it's about a choice. It's about making that choice. So I feel like that choice was made in the move on, but he still has that love and affection for her. We have the world card, and this is about completing a goal life or lesson. It's like we're moving on. The lesson has been learned. I feel like it's, you know, she's got her back kind of turned turned to us, which means just kind of leaving the past in the um, behind her or him. And then we have the Empress. Um, that there is, he sees her as that woman um, that is full of abundance and beauty and love, um, all the finer things in life. Uh, he still sees her that, that way. He does. He's, he's just, he's really bitter against Justin. Is anything going to happen in the future? No, but um, I think he's learned some lessons from this and he still sees her as someone that, you know, he would, he would love to still be with so or commit to or whatever the case is so if anybody out there is interested in a private reading uh would like to purchase one email me my email will be at the bottom of the video you can um email me i'll back get back to you in 24 hours and uh, you know i have my readings out in less than five days usually out they're out in a couple two three days so all right i hope you guys enjoyed this reading i thank you for watching sharing subscribing liking commenting subscribe and once you subscribe hit the bell icon and it will um uh let you know every time i download a video i'm also accepting donations to my channel because i don't get paid a, i don't get a whole lot of money for doing these videos if i get three or four thousand views i get two or three dollars it's not a lot of money so donations are always welcome and i'll keep the readings coming so all right everybody thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed this reading all right bye bye